today on the workbench as you can see it's a power supply just i'm going to try to test it and to try to repair it as you can see this is uh, one of the power supply for my router which was installed outside and here is this uh, 9 volt 0 0.6 ampere so about half of an ampere or little more than half of an ampere 600 milliampere 9 volt this is the output and 220 volt is 240 volt is the input 100 to uh, 240 volt of course so these are the input terminals you can see just I put tape on them and here is a PVC connector which is connected to 220 volt over here just I'm putting my hand and I'm enough careful from the voltage so this is a 220 volt input and here is the output which is uh, such side of uh, 9 volt connector inside is the positive and outside is the negative just I'm going to test it in front of you on the meter to see so voltage DC I have to put it in and two uh, probes I have to connect with them with inside is a positive as you can see and outside is the negative so I will have to connect it over here and you can see nothing zero volt it's not giving anything and for sure I have to test it over here on the input side but uh, input side I will not directly go and test DC instead I will have to put the meter on AC and then 220 volt or 225 volt something I will have to test over here so here now as you can see just the props I'm connecting on these two screws and 227 volt I can get so this is what is the input is okay the input is going to the power supply and output is not generated or it's not adapted so what I have to do is I have to remove this from the power I removed it somebody show on their video you can see there are no screws on here somebody had been shown on one of the YouTube video that's such a power supply as nowadays these are they are just glued over here some way there are so many ways to open them either you have to crack uh, crack break them or um, there is another way is uh, you have to put some uh, gasoline the guy had been shown that you have to put some gasoline on this crack area or the, these uh, joint areas so then it will be cracked open by a little effort so just we have to try that if it is working or not working i'm not sure because i did not do it before i'm just doing it first time so i have to soak a little cloth or rag in the uh, benzene or whatever this uh, gasoline so here this uh, soaked already I'm not using my gloves or whatever some people are commenting sometimes <laughs> so by this way I have to put some gasoline in inside this joint I have to and use some quantity of gas inside so that it will crack the glue this is what is the concept i don't know whether it will work or not okay so now is the time to grab a screwdriver even a little smaller i have to grab and try it if it is successful you will see but it seems difficult so the force will be required which is normally is the case i'm doing with these such things to open so what I have to do is I have to take my pliers and just hammer it over here on the top as you can see just I'm hammering to crack them open or to crack it open so here just I created some space in night actually I'm taking care for my neighbors not to put them in trouble due to hammering so by this way I have to make some space in the covers and now it's cracked open as you can see the glue has been broken and just by this way cracked open so here is the thing as you can see uh, seems to be burnt but how it is just water is there inside so seems it's water damaged but uh, probably we could repair it because here is 
what I can see the damage mark and here is of course a damage mark I can see water also so here is a jumper just I have to check for this one and here is a fuse so first of all I have to test for the voltage over here and then for sure I have to check for this resistor and fuse also I have to check fuse is over here as you can see here is the fuse the supply line is coming and then from here to here this fuse is so first I have to check that fuse so using a multimeter just a ohm range I have to check the fuse verify the fuse on the continuity sometimes most of the times they are good people are expecting first the fuse sometimes they are good most of the times and then later on they are giving up so I have to check it as if I am closing so you can listen the beep as well as zero reading so here I have to check this fuse so the expectation was not bad as I cannot see any continuity in here and also I cannot least, less listen the beep and so probably this fuse went away this is blown so what we will do is we will have to clean this thing and then later on I will put a fuse over here as you can see <laughs> just this uh, whatever they put it on this uh, soldering mask this is going off it's not a problem just I will have to clean the PCB from the rust because this rust is not the proper thing for the power supply as rust is sometimes it is conductive and also you can see here if we will see the continuity over here either it is or it's burnt already I think the print went off yeah it seems like that so we will repair that also I will show you how to repair it so here if we will make we will test the continuity you can see continuity is there from here yeah from here to here it's okay and up to here it is not so here to here we will put a wire and we will repair this printing printed circuit board as you can see just close to the camera from here to here the continuity is okay here to here and then from here to there this point the continuity is not there but I can see the printed circuit mark and this has been eaten up over here or burnt up so what we will do is we will have to repair this as well as we will have to replace this fuse of the fuse we will replace with a small wire because I don't have this such, such a fuse in my hand so just we will put a fuse over here and then the later the later on we will see the circuit and uh, also of course I have to clean this thing and this uh, whatever this uh, uh, the PCB which is rusty I have to clean it I have to wash it with the petrol and then later on uh, we will secure it if it is good if it will become good and secure it in a proper covering in a proper uh, casing waterproofing we will do here is this power supply after giving a nice uh, wash as you can see uh, here the PCB is clear enough now and this side also I have given a little bit wash over here and also of course what I did is I had cut this insulation on the fuse as you can see there was a jacket it, as it is in my hand this black color I just cut it down with a blade and then inside there is a resistor as you can see the fusing resistor actually and here in, in the mid one midway somewhere uh, just I have to show you by the meter probe pointing it some way like this and lighting also over here you can see there is a crack line so this crack line is actually the crack which is produced on this resistor and or this fuse and this had been blown so this is no more a fuse this is just an open circuit and here is what another thing which which just I had been shown to you before the printed circuit board had been cracked over here and here these two places this should be some way like this as it is coming from here like this way and then over here to this point so this should be and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to repair it 
uh, we will just introduce a piece of wire we just I cut it from and uh, this had been cut actually from one of the cable uh, which was before I just uh, cut a red color you can see red color cable over here and uh, this is another one which I just prepared it for a fuse for the same fuse and uh, here I have to prepare this printed circuit board for soldering this is colophony as a flux you can say and here just I have to put it on this uh, point to make it ready for a new solder and just fluxing it a little bit and then this point of course I have to prepare for for the soldering and then later on I have to put some new flux uh, sorry new solder just fresh solder I have to put it on like this and here also where I'm going to make it solder so it should be with a new solder a little bit like this and then this wire I have to make it flux with the colophony same way on both sides and here I have to solder it to the point where I'm going to point to solder it to make it repair actually like this and then the other end for sure I have to solder to the other end where the printed circuit board should be so some way like this as you can see now this is a jumper uh, just acting as a bridge as you can see and uh, for sure I have to repair this fuse for the fuse I have to add a little bit flux over here on this point and on this point these are actually the fuse terminals where the fuse should be and just uh, have to grab this wire and uh, one thin wire from all the wires which are over here actually just you can see one wire one strain I have to solder it uh, across the terminals of the fuse so that this wire will act as a fuse so some way like this and just keep it for cooling and then the rest of the wire I have to cut it like this and put it aside so now our repair is almost complete I have to give a test and for the testing purpose I have to give you a tip as a specialist they know very well this is for the beginner actually uh, you have to just not put this thing in the power as this is a 220 volt so you have to do one thing with this uh, you have to introduce a series lamp over here uh, for that I'm just going to show you how to do it this is my supply voltage lines actually I'm going to connect uh, at the moment they are not connected to the power just I have to connect uh, one line over here and leave the second wire and for sure I have a lamp over here just I have to show you how it is like this and these lamp terminals don't comment please badly that these are open terminals I'm using yes sure I'm using this is a workshop this is not something a bedroom sorry for this caution actually some people are badly commenting which is not the proper way just look for the knowledge don't look for the calligraphy so this way you have to twist it and uh, over here also the other terminal you have to connect it so the lamp is coming in series a very basic series circuit so just I have to show you this is the lamp terminals too and they are coming in the way so just I will electrify the things and then we will see so just rectified as you can see I'm just going to check the AC voltage over here and uh, try to show it on camera also just focusing over here so this these points mm, you can see this uh, series lamp is there but uh, of course 
226 volt is applied to the unit as the lamp is not drawing any current because this power supply is very very much low current so lamp is not drawing anything and now I'm going to check the output which should be 9 volt or something like that or maybe 8 volt but I'm just going to check it it should be 9 volt uh, inside is a positive and outside is a negative so here as you can see 7.9 volt DC so it's 8 volt it's actually 8 volt DC it's coming so this supply had been repaired as you see the thing is actually this supply these are not expensive but uh, if we are throwing it away and going to purchase a new one uh, for su such a small problem as you have been seen in the, that one fuse had been blown and the power printed circuit board um, had been dissolved or uh, eaten up uh, so we repaired it with a just piece of wire and over there also a piece of wire as a fuse uh, so for no money we just repaired it only uh, we put some time and uh, did this repair so such a such a repair is a successful repair in this case and uh, of course this will work and this will give this will give a new life to the unit uh, thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like